Okay, so so uh, our video broadcasting is uh, international, so I will read it in English. Uh, so hello, my name is Max Lapshin. I'm author of Early Video Video Streaming Server, but uh, there will be nothing today about video. Uh, I will speak about other topic. It is uh, stock exchange trading, and I will speak about my experience in uh, in in infrastructure connection to stock exchanges. So it is about algo trading. Uh, there is a protocol uh, well known to, well known about uh, well known among uh, algo traders to connect to stock exchanges. It is called Fix or or Fast. Uh, so currently we're speaking about Fix protocol. It is uh, it is industry st standard, uh, widely adopted, but uh, in, and it is very complicated. And I will speak to today about about problems I have met in implementing this protocol. So it is it is about uh, how to connect uh, from the application to stock exchange. It is uh, it is semi-binary protocol. Uh, by saying semi-binary, I mean that it is possible to read it in a TCP dump, but it has some binary uh, binary non-readable um, symbols. And uh, when I have when I have to implement a uh, stock exchange a robot, I uh, have found that there was no uh, Erlang implementation that was open sourced. And in fact, there was only only one implementation that it, would, it was possible to buy, but guys haven't replied. So I had to implement fixed uh, protocol connector by myself. And what is what is this fixed? How it, how, how does it look like? It is a k-value list, uh, and uh, inter uh, with integer with integers. So all keys are in uh, are, are numbers, and they are ASCII coded. So it's possible to read them. To read them in uh, in plain text dump, but they but they but they they divided just by uh, by byte with with uh, decimal one, so uh, so it is possible to read. But it is but it is but it, but it is very uh, complicated to parse it. Uh, so this fix is a, is a, has th has a, all three levels. It is transport. So you need to connect by TCP, and it is it is described by fix. You cannot transfer fix by HTTP or some other protocols. Uh, and it describes packet uh, packet level. So fix fix tells you when when packet uh, when pa pa packet starts and when when it, when it finished. And it describes business level. So uh, the specification for fix protocol describes all possible business level messages that you can send by by this protocol. Uh, how, uh, in, it, it is very big, uh, big, big specification. More than uh, more than 100 of different messages that you can send by this fixed protocol, and uh, we have uh, and I had um, uh, very, very big, um, big demand for for speed. I need to spend m not more than 10 microseconds for parsing because 10, mi 10 microseconds is already a big, big number of time that for parsing this protocol, uh, one one message. And uh, so, um, so. When we when we when we when we, when we receive fixed message, we translate it to prop list, but uh, it is a problem because it is uh, prop lists are very un, it is very uh, it is not convenient to use prop lists in your code. You can't use prop, li prop list in uh, in um, in function clause in case. So you you have always to work with prop list to get value. It's very inconvenient. So code is uh, we work with records in code. Uh, and uh, we need to translate these prop lists to records and make it fast, fast and convenient. And um, speaking about fix, uh, there is an XML description. There is not only a specification. There is a big, big XML file that you can download from uh, from uh, from internet. And this fix, this this XML describes a whole syntax and semantic levels. I will describe. I will explain later what it means. So, what is the problem? Problem is that uh, fix is a very big is a, is a protocol with a very big specification, and no one needs the whole specification, and no broker implements the whole fix specification n never, and we need only a small subset of this specification, and uh, so we want we want somehow to make a parser that takes this binary fix protocol and translate it to to records that are convenient to us, uh, and. You can you can know that uh, you can understand that um, there is some some impedance. There is a difference between fixed business logic and our business logic. So we want so we want uh, to find the, the easiest way to to make to make parser uh, to make parser uh, that so 
to make such parser that generates uh, that generates output convenient to us. Uh, so, what are the ways to go? To, to, to go, the first way is enterprise. Uh, Java guys like this. So, uh, what it means? It means that there is no problem. Uh, you just take this XML. You just uh, you you create uh, objects with with hundreds of fields, uh, with a big amount of methods, and then you create some abstract singleton factories that that create your objects out of fixed objects, and uh, you create a large large copy pasted glue code to translate a fixed business level to your business to your business level, uh, and it is impossible to use an Erlang because of because it's very inconvenient and because of a uh, large size of records. Uh, I mean that um, if, you, if you create records from fixed messages uh, in a very dumb way, you will, you, will get, you will get records with more than 100 fields. If you try to modify this record, you will get a very big amount of copy, of copying data. And code that will work with records with 100 fields is a bad code. So it was not my way. Ad hoc way is uh, is what many people uh, what, what, what many, many people use. They just uh, write a simple parser of fix to that subset of fix that uh, their broker provides. So they just say, oh, my broker give me three three types of fixed messages. I will not I will I will not think about other other fixed protocol. I will just implement these three these these three messages and it's okay. So what is the problem in this way? Uh, when broker, add, bro broker adds new and new fixed messages, you have to write more and more ad hoc code. And uh, it's, it is, in fact, I'm too lazy to repeat this code again and again. Because, because there is some, some, some kind of code that is similar to different types, types of messages. Uh, but, we're, but, we're, we need, but, but we need to understand that uh, many peers uh, have bugs. For example, many brokers have their own software that implements fix in their own way. Of course, with bugs and problems, and we need to, to somehow to work around these bugs. But in fact, uh, I don't like this way because I, I'm too lazy to copy paste code. So, what was the right way I, uh, that I've chosen? Um, I wanted to to uh, automate this parser generation from this uh, big XML and make this code reusable for other people. In fact, there are uh, there are some people that are interested that are already interested interested in my fixed implementation and I, I hope the number will, will increase. So I wanted to design a system that can fit in different businesses. Uh, this, so the, this fixed parser that provides a very complicated messages must, 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 be, must provide such messages uh, and such records, such data types that are convenient for directly using business code. And I don't want to, to write it by hand. I, don't want to, I wanted to, to, make it, to make it very simple and how to generate uh, all the parser. So I, so I chose the way uh, by uh, making configurable code generation. What it means? Uh, I take XML uh, downloaded from in the internet from the fixed protocol org, uh, and then I reduce amount of messages and their size according to my config file. For example, my broker provide me uh, give me about five different fixed messages with uh, with, with 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 several several numbers, number of fields. It is much. It, it is many times mm, small, smaller amount of fix that is described in protocol in, in full specification. But I don't need it. So I so I write config where where I say what what exactly a number of me or what exactly fields I need, and what messages I, I need. Then I, I generate headers he headers and parcels. So what what does it mean? When I generate headers, uh, it means that I uh, that I write only those only those records that I need messages. Um, and fill them only with those fields that I need. But uh, broker can al can always send those fix uh, fix fields that uh, that are not described by me. That I don't that I don't uh, that, I, that I wasn't uh, waiting for. So I always add to any record uh, some some field where I just put uh, unused unused uh, unknown unknown case. And what what do I get what do I get by this generation? I can uh, I know the types or the types of records of these records and, and of all fields at generate time, so I can I can tag them uh, for dialyzer. I can say that this field is in integer and this field is uh, is a uh, some some uh, string or something else. And it is known at at generate time before compile time. 
For example, uh, there is a new order single message in fixed protocol, uh, which which can be sent uh, to broker to make uh, an order requ order request. But by default, in fixed protocol in fixed specification, there are more than 60 different fields. It is very complicated because they wanted to describe all the all the all possible all possible business logic that can be in between client and broker. But I need only six fields, not 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 more, because my broker can't implement, haven't implemented every, every everything. Uh, so I, I translated to to a very simple and useful uh, useful structure uh, record usable in Erlang, and uh, also I change I change underscores to, to uh, I change uh, unconvenient uh, fix fix naming to underscores that is, that is possible to use in Erlang. Now, what about parsers? They also are generated, um, and there are two uh, two kinds of parsers uh, that I need in fixed protocol. One is syntax parser. Uh, by by syntax parser, I mean that I need to translate this this binary protocol with uh, with integer key with integer names of key of keys to Erlang types and back. Um, and also, we don't we don't we we mu must not forget about syntax sugar, for example. Uh, there is a key uh, named uh, side. So, do I want to buy stock or do I want to sell stock? And I need to send uh, zero or one. It is very inconvenient. It's impossible to remember what does it mean one uh, one or zero. So, we need to translate such fields to to atoms buy and sell. And um, this syntax parser doesn't depend on config because uh, we must we must parse any possible fix uh, field that will come to us from broker because broker can change the fix implementation in any time and we must not we must not rely on any subset we must parse everything that will come to us and it's not a problem not a problem and this is exactly those part that can be translated to that can be made in C. Uh, in fact, there is some part uh, written in C and it is auto auto generated. It is very convenient and it is very fast because uh, sorry, but parsing uh, this thing in Erlang, especially binary split, is very very slow. It's about ten times slower than than, par than making parser in C. And uh, this syntax parser give us give us prop list. We can do the, with this prop list everything we want. And it's important that this is prop list because it is a ordered k value k value list. And then we, we meet semantic parser. Semantic parser is the most interesting thing because we must somehow translate this prop list to our business business to, to, to records that are used in our business logic. And um, uh, it's, it must throw away some unusual information. For example, every fixed message uh, uh, keeps it uh, checksum. Uh, we don't need it in our business business code. Thro throw it away because it's useful it's, it's useless data. And uh, here we must handle a group of fields. Group of fields is a um, very cryptic and uh, um, and very bad part of fixed protocol because uh, you need because fixed message is just a plain k value list that must be created into a very complicated object uh, that, that 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 can uh, handle sub objects lists of sub objects. So this group of fields are very very complicated to parse and. Uh, com and it is uh, especially complicated because of broker's bugs. Uh, I haven't yet met broker's bugs, but some people are meeting them, and it's very it's a problem. And this semantic parser is generated by also by config. I write into my config file only those uh, only those data and only those messages I wanted to, I want to parse, and it reduces the the number or the amount of code and uh, make it w work faster. But yet, I had uh, to, I had to write some ad hoc code written by my hands for my case to keep the flexibility because brokers sometimes send uh, some some data in other way that uh, not by protocol, not by specification. Uh, so how how does this semantic parser uh, looks like? It determines type of message by first by first key value key key, key value pair. There is written message type, and then it it uh, it takes the it creates uh, the proper record, and uh, you must understand that uh, by saying it creates proper record, I mean that there is written in generated error file. So I generate real error file text. It is text file 
It is not abstract form. It is just text file that is that is committed into Git, Git repository, and I can check it by I, I, I can I can view it. It cre and uh, there is there, there is written uh, that that we create a new single order structure. And then then I, then this parser will process the less the rest of prop lists. And uh, this pro processor also is auto auto generated by our XML and by our config according to our config. Uh, because if we if we meet known record field, for example, I say that I need field I need field uh, named named amount in my single orders uh, structure. So there is a there is a record field named uh, amount. And when we when when we when we meet uh, when we when when we meet key from fix name it uh, name it amount. So we put it into the proper proper place in this record. And all these all these uh, all these set element. Uh, um, calls are generated into the error file. So, in fact, the most the most important uh, the most important generated uh, function is field index uh, that uh, th that uh, tells us on which place of record um, ca can can we find the the, the required the required field. Uh, this is a very complicated code that could be much much um, simpler. If there were frames in Erlang, so when uh, when when OTP team will implement the frames, it is uh, embedded hash hash tables uh, in 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 Erlang uh, as a, as, a, as a dedicated type. I will I will throw away everything this, and it will it will be very very simpler. But now we can we, we need to to make such a complicated complicated thing. And so what 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 can I what what do I um, what, can, what what have I got from this uh, from this uh, work? Uh, I can provide a simple and usable code, and it is very important that I can uh, view by that I can that I can watch at this auto-generated error file, which is named fixed parser error, and understand what is written the, what what is written there, good or bad. Uh, I can profile it. I can um, run some benchmarks. I can see uh, um, syntax errors in it. And it is much better than to use uh, to use auto generation with uh, abstract syntax tree. Uh, all fixed data types are used in my business logic directly. I just uh, include this this auto generated header in all of my in all of my business logic, and use these uh, fields directly. It is very convenient because if I need to add some uh, some additional field which is not used in fix, I just add it to config, and I can use this field. For example, there is no field named uh, ID in order, but I can add it. I can add it just for me, and it will not. It will not be just filled from um, from broker uh, results. And um, the, the 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 main idea of my of my topic was uh, to was that it is very con it is very cool to make uh, for such complicated thing rated parser but it must be configurable because if you just uh, if you just translate the, uh, the the big specification to to some code you will receive a very very inconvenient uh, big structures which are uh, which which does not uh, which cannot be used directly in the business code and you will need to make a, a glue code that translates uh, those protocol data types to your to your data, data types and I, I have made it I have made uh, Code so that I can use them directly, and it really works. Okay, so this is this is all. Uh, uh, what do you think about uh, Adobe Report for fixed mail, or uh, it it will be another buzzer? Um, I haven't looked at it, uh, so I, ca I can't say you anything about it. Uh, there are many protocol. There are, there are many other protocols that broker can uh, can can give you. For example, our our stock uh, uh, RT, RTS give you some Plaza two connector, or some or or fast connector. Uh, so I can't say about them. Uh, but I think that I will that I will deal somehow if I if I, if I will need to meet uh, fix uh, fix ML. This. Uh, do you think about uh, any syntax sugar uh, that can uh, through transform uh, do matching uh, records and prop list? Uh, you are th you are speaking about Erlson, yes? Uh, 
uh, for example. Okay, so question is, uh, th there are some ways to, to simplify handling prop lists in your business, in your code. Because currently you can't make, you can't uh, put a prop list get value into the function clause. Um, no, I haven't thought about it and I, I don't think that I want to use it. Uh, I really hope that OTP team will bring frames and uh, will make all this all this horror unuse uh, not, not not required. Do you think it's really? I think yes, because they have created code and now they only they are only discussing a syntax. Uh, so one year or one year and a half, and I think that it will that they will find some good way to to introduce frames into Erlang. <laughs> uh, but. Uh, that I read at некой модификации рекорда. То есть деструктивных апдейтов не будет. Okay, so it it may be non-destructive updates. <laughs> Just copying, it's okay for me. But the problem is that you can't use prop list in in function clause, in function clause, and this is why we have to to use records. Records have their limitations. Records are not hot updated. Records are it's it is very it is very complicated. It is very big. To, it's very bad to use big records, and so we need to reduce them. I have shown how how have I have I reduced the size of records that I have to deal with. Um, and, I, and I can use these records in pattern, in pattern matching, and it's okay. But uh, yes, we can't use prop lists in pattern matching. If we, if we can, if we could, I wouldn't write this everything this. So I, but, but I had to write it. And uh, so I, I currently I don't use any 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 syntax, any uh, syntax sugar, but uh, but so I don't use it. I don't rely on it. Uh, Max. Uh как ты определяешь uh, типы полей рекордов на этапе компиляции? Не очень понятно. Окей, uh, okay. question, question was how can I, how, how can I determine uh, a record field type on the compilation? Uh, in fact, I determine them before compilation. I determine them on generation. Uh, there is a big XML description uh, and there is, a, there is a field data type. There is int or, or dictionary or string and I can use this information to, to make hints in uh, my auto-generated uh, uh, header file. Is your code open source? It is partially open sourced uh, because I uh, have open sourced uh, the previous version. Uh, currently problem is that it is uh, widely devel it is, uh, developed, developed and it is embedded into my into my main ma mainstream code so it's very it's rather complicated to to um, to, um, to to make commit to, to split commits so uh, sometimes i update the public uh, it is it is on my github github slash max Lapshin. there is a fixed implementation uh, but it is a bit outdated uh, sometimes i i just update it uh, with, with with the new commits and uh, it's possible to use it Max, I have one simple, simple question. Why you use a prop list at all? Why don't pack bytes, a few bytes into the message? Maybe it's better. Maybe it's faster. Why I don't use? Uh, why I don't use? Why why using a prop list at all? Why using a, some kind of uh, representation, some kind of human readable representation? Why don't pack into the bit fields or some kind? Um, of, I see. Maybe it's faster. I don't know. Just just. I see. Ask. No. Um, there is a problem that a uh, fixed message is not a plain. It is, it is not. It's not a plain uh, k-value hash. It is a hash. It is a play. It is a k-value uh, representation of a big and uh, complicated object. For example, if we receive a market data structure, there are two different fields: uh, bid, ask, uh, and they are filled with with different uh, objects. Uh, size data size uh, size amount size amount and so it is impossible to use uh, to it will be it's impossible to to make uh, uh, to use this as a uh, as any binary uh, representation Max скажи вот разные версии фикса как у тебя поддерживаются Currently I use generator I have used my generator only for fix 4.4, which is used by my broker. 
but uh, again, it is not it is not hard coded. Uh, we can use the same uh, the same XML or the same structure for different uh, for a different other uh, um, version versions of Fix. For example, if you if your if your broker uses uh, 4.2, so you can just uh, take another XML and generate other fields. I know that they are incompatible, especially Fix 5, uh, but I think it will not not be a problem. This is this is what what my, what what my speech was about. You need to how to generate different parsers for different uh, for different uh, ways of use. Yes, different different configs. So if you, if you if you need this code and your broker uh, gives you only uh, fix 4.2, so change config and uh, out and uh, generate this code. Uh, вот у тебя ты говорил о куске, который написан на C. Uh, ты просто написал его на C или ты ставил какие-нибудь эксперименты с хайпом? Um, hype. Um, yes, I have checked hype. It is really slow, also slow because slowness is not in hype. Slowness is in binary is in binary split. If we just take a binary split and then we uh, repeat this code in C, uh, there are about four or eight times difference in speed. Just play, just split written in C that that, that produces you some sub binaries is much faster uh, than binary split. I don't know why. I haven't looked inside, inside the binary split code. Maybe it is some pattern generation take, that takes time or something else. But uh, I you must understand that I, uh, that when I, when I also, when I produce parser, how to generate a parser, I make um, something like a um, state machine. So it, is, it, 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 it should be really fast. For example, I make all the generation, all the, all the number parsing in C. It is also many, many times faster than uh, Erlang list to integer. Uh, so this, this, really, this really works faster. And the uh, problem is not in hype. problem is, uh, is in string, string, string handling in Erlang. So in fact, if you, I think if you, if you will use any other language or even C++ with some generic Parser, you will also mm, give, you will you will also re receive bad bad, bad, bad results. So, thank you.